Hey guys, long time no YouTube. No. <laughs> so it's been a while since my last video, but obviously, yeah, I've done my Florida vlogs. They should be up very soon. This is probably going to be up before them, even though we went last year. But today we are at the Harry Potter studio tour. Are you excited? Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously it's a very different visit because Corona, masks, and there's social distancing going on as well, which is completely fun, but so we don't want people near us. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try vlogging it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the vlog and let's go. Harry Potter studio tour. What are you looking for? Oh, oh the confirmation. I had it up. I think we got it. Mm. Okay, we're gonna head in now. Socially distanced style. Once it's got the tickets up. What are we Oh, is that the bottom? Bottom. Yeah, it's oh, okay. the bottom of the email. Got it. Awesome, he's Actually, got it. Hang on. Got it. Got it. We can start heading. Thank you. Ooh. This is so. <laughs> oh, see, there's sand sanitized stations all through the tour. Celebration of Slytherin! Thank you. Sand sanitizing stations. Someone else can stand over there. It's commander. We're gonna go have a little look in the food hall because we did come to the preview of this when it opened. But we didn't actually go in here, so we're going to go in here. Sanitize my one hand. I'm not sure if 
at the castle. Those words, of course, were welcome to Hogwarts. Oh, that's so, so yes, weird. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the one, the only, the great Thank hall you. of Hogwarts. It was one of the first sets constructed for the films, and as I'm sure you'll be able to tell, it was also one of the largest. Now, as you look up, you will see that we have festooned the Great Hall ceiling with the green and silver banners of Slytherin, as this is how we would have decorated the Great Hall for those last few scenes of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, when Slytherin believe they have won the House Cup at the end of year feast that you see on either side of the Great Hall. Now I think you will agree that this food looks almost good enough to eat, and I do say almost, because as delicious as this food looks, it is actually made out of resin, which is a very hard plastic and not so easy to sink your teeth into. Now in the original films, they did actually make real food every single day, and it smelled absolutely delicious. For the first few hours, after a little while, under those spot studio lights, it started to smell a little less appetising. So, they learned their lesson, and in future films, they decided to use a mixture of real and fake food, like you see in front of you. Now, from something that wasn't real, to something that very much is, if you all give your feet a nice big stamp for me, it can take it because that floor is made out of real York flagstone like you would find in a real castle. Now it is incredibly rare for a film to use something so permanent, but the filmmakers knew very early on that this floor would have to endure a lot of wear and tear over 10 years of filming. And the best way to make it last was to use the real thing. And it has survived some of the biggest scenes in the films. For example, all of those sorting ceremonies. And let me introduce you now to some of our Hogwarts houses. Now, since this is a celebration of Slytherin, I'm going to start with our friends in green. If you just look in front of me here, we have the costumes of Slytherin House, with Draco and Malfoy standing proudly in the centre there, wearing his costume from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And we can tell this because he's wearing his Inquisitorial Squad badge, given to him by the delightful Professor Umbridge. But even though this is a celebration of Slytherin, let's not forget about the other houses. Let me introduce you to J.K. Rowling's favourite house. Any guesses, anybody? It's the Hufflepuffs. Just over here on my left-hand side, we have Hufflepuff House with the costume of Cedric Diggory in the centre that he wore for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire when he took part in the Triwizard Tournament. Now, if we have any Ravenclaws here who managed to sneak out the library to join us, just in front of me here, we have Ravenclaw House. And in the centre there, we have the costume of Moaning Myrtle. Now, yes, she was the ghost of the girls' bathroom, but she was also a Ravenclaw before her early demise. And now, last but not least, here to my right, we have the Gryffindors. And how could I mention this noble house without mentioning the man? The myth, the legend, the only man brave enough to face the Lord Voldemort in a knitted cardigan. Never long bottom here beside me. And then just a few costumes down from him, we have the very first set of robes worn by Daniel Radcliffe for the part of Harry Potter. And the very, and the very last, because he's so sure. He first wore this costume complete with tiny tie and an adorable tiny wizard hat. But just as Harry, Ron and Hermione did in the first film, you have come through those great hall doors, all the way down the centre of the great hall to the teacher's table, where you would be sorted in front of some of Britain's finest acting talent. And this is where I'm going to introduce you to your very first Harry Potter secret of the day, one of our larger secrets. If you take a look on the right hand side, you will see the costume of Rubius Hagrid. Now, he was played by Robbie Coltrane, who was not a short man. He stood at six foot two, but that's not quite tall enough to play a half giant. So the secret is, Robbie Coltrane never wore that costume. That was actually worn by his size double, who was a man called Martin Bayfield, and was an ex-England rugby player standing at a whopping six foot ten. 
Now, even that wasn't quite tall enough to play a seven foot six half giant like we have there. So to add those eight extra inches, they gave Martin some stilts in his shoes, padded out his costume, they even gave him an animatronic Robbie Coltrane mask. Now that could be controlled off camera with remote control. A look that you would never be able to tell when it was actually Martin instead of Robbie on the screen. Now I can tell that you're all eager to carry on with the rest of your tour, so just a couple of things before you go. If you have one of our digital guides on the green lanyard, number one for your tour is the director's boards just through those archways, just press play when you make it through there. And also if you have one of our studio tour passports, that's the little blue book. You are on the lookout for seven stamps and 16 golden snitches. It sounds like a lot, so I'll give you the first one for free. It's hanging just in that archway up there. Now, if you haven't got one of our passports and would like one, you can find them at our first stamping location, which is by the Gryffindor Common Room. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy exploring behind the scenes of the most magical film series in the world. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, I just wanna. Because now there's no one near them. Like to say on that? 
No, this is about the floating candles. It's a lectern. Why does it say on there that it's a lectern? It doesn't say that. It is a store. It's not a store. <laughs> Stand, reading desk, podium. Podium! Stand, support. Stand! That is it. That is what it is. It's a podium. Uh, copyright Google. Copyright Google. It helped us. Oh, you actually filming? Yeah. Why are you helping? Oh, do you remember in Florida that girl filming and her boyfriend filming her? Yep. Got a so behind the scenes person. <laughs> Special features coming up on Lecture TV. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Ceiling model, which is obviously. It's not a very good ceiling model. Oh, that one. <laughs> Fair enough. You silly sausage. I can hear Daniel Radcliffe. You always hear Daniel Radcliffe. He's over there. I love the bow buttons uniform. Two sideburns and one set of eyebrows. Eyebrows. Am I zoomed all the way out? I'm sorry, this is me sawing out the camera. See, it's really weird because normally you have a tour guide here telling you stuff. I normally choose to see Daniel Radcliffe's scars, which I think are in that little box in that table. Colour match, switch, hoverboard. Isn't it weird? Dumbledore, not Dumbledore. Voldemort starts off really dark and Harry's really light. And by the end of the film, his is really light and Harry's is really dark. Symbolism. Yes. Damn, you're he just didn't wash his jacket for a while. Yes. Oh, here we go. He'll tell you there. Ooh. Is this where Newt Scamander is, or is he somewhere else? I can never remember. A look at the leaky cauldron. Fairly common. 
common to step off one set and finding yourself somewhere different and different. Mm -hmm. Come this way and see for yourself. Just try not to get lost. I will try, Dan. I will try. <laughs> I could just watch it all day. Like a lava lamp. But a pretty lava lamp. Uh, see, they're the taps from the feedback bathroom. The prince again. Is it? I can't say it. On the inoculars, you know, it speeds up the get Quidditch World Cup game. Ah, oh, so it's basically. Um, inoculars that they can look for and it speeds it up, slows it down because Harry watches it slow down and her mind's like, you're behind! Thing is, their sofas look a lot comfier than the ones in the uh, Gryffindor common room. No, I don't agree with that. They look like in the summer, that must be like really hot. I bet there's some kind of charm on it to keep it cool. You can't say that's not a cool mug though. Look at the size of that mug. That's a good cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> and look, look, they're playing an actual ball game. Um, Unlike over yeah. in your precious Gryffindor, they just listen to the ordinary boys somehow. Yeah, I don't know how they listen to the ordinary boys. Neither do I. <laughs> We have just been informed that that skull up there is Salazar Slivering's skull, so he's like the head of house forever. It's creepy or what, just when you thought Slivering's couldn't be any more weirder. We used to talk really lovely tour guide. I love talking to the tour guide. So much nicer having the actual time to actually talk to them about the film, talk to them about working here, talk to them about the props. Just good to have the time, especially because now everyone seems to have disappeared. 
And I did, she did just say about uh, people coming in to clean. So I'm guessing that means that we are on the last bit. I know there's Stephen Fry over there. No, I think they moved move New Scamander. Is it Eddie Redmayne or? No, I don't think it's Eddie Redmayne. There's Stephen Fry. Yeah, I know, I just pointed Stephen Fry out. He used to be in here, but I think they moved him. And it's the water of the door, it's the water of the door.
it's even got a sound effect. It's got a sound effect. Listen. <laughs> but it's like really nice. We're just gonna look at this fire for a little while because it's really nice. is like out mm -hmm. the Wardour's office is basically my bedroom <laughs> So all the memories. That looks trippy. There are designers and there are production designers like Stuart Craig. I think Newt Scamander is on this wall. Oh. Oh. I can't remember. I was making my head hurt. <laughs> There's um. Oh, 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 come back. Come back. David Hayman. I can't. No idea. Well, which way do we go now? Uh, huh? <laughs> oh wow! This is his robes. Huh? I'm confused. I would say I don't know which I don't know. <laughs> this way. <laughs> with one and Nimbus 2000. <laughs> Which broom would you want? Oh, I mean, the Firebolt's the obvious choice, but the Nimbus 2000 just looks comfier. I'd want the Nimbus 2000. I don't like the 2001. No, I don't like the 2000. I don't like the Spoonhead. <laughs> spoonhead. Right at the end. 
It's a spoon head. Oh yeah. <laughs> spoon. Interesting. So you can eat your cereal, you can fly with it. The port key. I want the life size version of the. What? What? Oh! Yeah, that's, she's adorable. I'm not gonna lie. Goblet of fire out. Oh. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. That is very, very nifty. <laughs> Do you think they'll do the goblet of fire again? A lot of people use the fire of shooting characters on the option of the talking to me. Turns out it was actually Voldemort talking to me. Uh, it's not focused. Uh, okay. Still, it was Voldemort talking to me, not the old man. <laughs> Don't fit. I'm out. <laughs> I'm Mr. Handy Hand. <laughs> You put it out of focus again. Oh, was it Daniel Radcliffe? Daniel. Fun fact my teacher's friend worked on the um, Ministry of Magic set for Order of the Phoenix. Oh. Yeah, she lied to us and every year told us she would get us a tour of the Harry Potter sets. <laughs> I mean, You've made up for it. Yeah, but I think like, you don't say, I can get us onto the Harry Potter sets and it doesn't happen. <laughs> I was gutted. Shades. 
pink. quite touch fine. <laughs> Actually walking into it was quite scary because that's never happened before. You normally have to wait. Oh, I've got you all on camera, don't I? No. Yep. I do love that. That was the first thing we got invited to. Oh, well. <laughs> I feel all teary. Yeah. And now it is time for my favourite part of the tour. And as it is September 1st, on the day of the filming of this tour, it won't be the day <laughs> when I blooming put it on, that's for sure. I feel so teary. He's not filming me now. Ginny Weasley, Colin Greavy. What? Look at that. Huh? Yes, I know of the Hogwarts Express. I like to normally get a good view from like here because you get like the whole. Why do you keep sitting down? Back Oh, that little girl running for the Hogwarts Express. Me, lit me. Oh my god, that's adorable. Can you see that? a little late because it is five to six.
I love the trunks. I want a trunk. I want a trunk. But I got nowhere in my room for a trunk. For a trunk. Yeah, but I'd want a large trunk. Yeah, I know you would. <laughs> no, Josh! My battery's running out. Well, this is goodbye from the Canon camera. Is it a Canon? Okay. Join, a Canon. join us again on the phone. Join us again on the iPhone because the camera is about to die. Which is weird because I filmed a lot in Florida and it lasted longer than that. So I'm not impressed with how long this battery has lasted. Then it did. Um... We could charge the battery. Yeah, ch oh, yeah, we could go. No. Well, <laughs> that's why. Where's Gringotts then? I want natural sweets because I would take the lot. Which was very selfish of them, I just want to point out. No, I would be the same. I would take it all. I'd be so happy. It's weird because it's so cool that that's the first day they filmed the last scene. So I really don't know where Gringos is. So the next bit, no one knows. Why have we seen that? Oh god, you're recording. Yeah, we were just singing brush your teeth. <laughs> we, we can't be that sad. Just taking those pictures while I wasn't recording. Oh, that's right. Um. <laughs> I 
Okay, green dots must be in here. gears and servos and we can count. These are massive machines. And I've got an example with over a ton set.
to choose which one's Draco, which one's Narcissa. Okay, okay. Yeah, why well, she got them? I don't know. <laughs>
is, which I'm not allowed anymore. I need the pygmy puff night in my life. <laughs> Oh, but I really like the lounge pants. Studio tour. Ooh, and there's my bean temperance. My bean. Do we just walk for it? Open sesame. Yeah. Thank you. I <laughs> don't want to go. Don't want to leave. determined to one day back here. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Look, bye bye studio tour. Bye bye. <laughs> 